Hello, welcome at Sukasa with Sucraft. Here's a few quick tips and tricks for new players to Minecraft. As you can see, um, I have my tools and whatnot in a specific order. I highly recommend you uh, get an order. It doesn't have to be this one, but I al always, always have my sword as number one, my pick as number two, my shovel as number three, and so on. My bow is always number five, dirt is always number seven, so that way in a pinch I can quickly hit that button quickly, you know, switch from one thing to the next, and I always know exactly where it's going to be. Very nifty trick. Uh, always also carry things with you that are useful for mobility, like, um, cobble and dirt. Um, I would always carry almost a half stack of dirt, no matter what you're doing, wherever you go. So you can, um, make, um, mobility towers to get up and down stuff. Very, very useful. Also, if uh, in a pinch and you need a quick shelter with dirt, uh, 14 pieces of dirt, you can make a shelter. And here's how you do it. One, two, three. One on each, whoops. One on each side. In the back. One for the top. Side, side, top, side. And boom. You're blocked in. Nothing can get to you. You can go AFK safely. If you're in multiplayer, obviously if you're in single player, just hit the escape button to pause the game, but, yep. Another tip that I would highly, highly recommend is one of the very first things you should do in the game is try to get a enchanting table up and going. You will need a diamond pick, uh, a diamond pickaxe, so you can pick, um, so you can pick up obsidian, and you pick up four pieces of obsidian, and then you take um, your four pieces of obsidian, a book, so you will re it will require you to have one piece of leather, and three pieces of paper, which requires sugar cane. So you're going to need all of these things, but um, you need two diamonds as well. So technically you need five diamonds, a piece of leather, and um, nine pieces of sugar cane. With that, Oh, and four obsidian. With that, you craft up an enchanting table, and then you can start using your levels. You can see I'm level 27. Um, the reason you want to do that is because you're going to hit, like, level 27, 30, really quickly. You do not want to go above 30. To get these awesome super enchants, uh, with fortune and efficiency and unbreaking, all of these, they are level 30 enchants. If you have more than 30 levels, it is doing you no good whatsoever. You can only use 30 levels. You can keep gaining up to, I don't know, I think it's infinite. I've seen, uh, when you kill an ender dragon, it gives you a crap ton of XP. I've seen it go up to like 108. But going over 30 is a complete waste, and here's why. Going from, from 1 to 2, and 2 to 3 and whatnot, those are really quick. You can go from level 1 to level 8 or 10 almost in a blink of an eye. Once you get up to 20, going from 20 to 30 is kind of slow. And then once you hit 30, going from 30 to 31 is the equivalent of going from, like, level 1 to 8. So if you, you're you level 30 and you haven't spent that XP, everything you're gaining is a complete waste. Because once you go use your, level th your 30 levels, if you're level 31, it's going to leave you as level 1. But if you had spent those 30 levels and then gained that XP, then you would be level 8 again. So going above 30, complete waste. Don't do it. And um, using your levels on your... Uh, obviously, you're going to want to put full level 30s on your diamond stuff. Don't waste it. I mean, maybe you can do like a level 27 on it and still get something good like this Unbreaking 3 or... Um, you might still even be able to get this uh, efficiency and unbreaking at level 27. That's that's one thing, but don't put like a level 5 enchant on a piece of diamond gear. Total waste of your diamond. Uh, but I do and highly, highly recommend you do put enchants, low level enchants, on things like iron. Uh, Blast Protection 1, you can get that with like a level 2 enchant. I always put like a level 1 to 5 enchant on pretty much everything. I mean, this unbreaking one on my iron pickaxe, I spent one level on that. You can get one level by just killing a chicken. I mean, they go so fast nowadays. Or just go mine some coal. The coal gives you XP now. So I, I highly recommend you uh, spend some low-level stuff on your uh, iron gear. It is uh, very useful. You can get, like, 
feather falling and protection one for like four levels. I mean, it's it's kind of a luck thing. I got lucky with that one and got two things on it. And uh, unfish efficiency one, unbreaking one. I got lucky with that. Uh, that's a level one enchant. Um, I mean, you, it might just give you efficiency one. It might just give you unbreaking one. But there is a small small chance that you can get two enchants on that with such low level enchants. But anyway. That pretty much sums it up. Uh, one more thing, actually. Potions. Once you get to the point in your game where you go to the nether and you get some nether wart and you can start doing potions, highly recommend at all times carry both of these potions with you. A splash potion of healing and a potion of fire resistance. Highly recommend that. If your health gets low, uh, you can hit this real quick and just, um, all you do is just throw it at the ground. Uh, stand next to something like a wall, throw it at the wall, and it will splash back onto you and heal you for like six hearts. Very, very nice in a pinch. It saved my life many, many times because it is quicker to to just throw it at the ground and it'll bust and, and heal you. Quicker to do that than to go through the sipping animation. However, I also recommend this potion of fire resistance, and the reason why is if you accidentally fall into lava and you have enough time to drink this, well, if you're wearing armor, you pretty much do have enough time to drink it, um, it basically makes you invulnerable to fire. You don't take any damage from... You'll go down to... You'll lose, like, one heart, and then, like, as you're regening, so long as your meat pops are up and you're in regen mode, you, you won't go below, like, one heart. You just stay there. So, very, very useful to always carry those. Um, and that pretty much sums up my uh, a few quick tips and tricks for new players to Minecraft. Hope you enjoyed, and if you did, clicking that like button down there is much appreciated. If you want to know more about how to play Minecraft, I would highly, highly recommend you go watch Paul Source Jr., uh, his tutorial survive, How to Survive and Thrive series. Uh, but this is it for now. Sukasa is signing off. As always, like I said, if you do enjoy the video, a like's appreciated. And if you want to continue to see more from me, then please subscribe. So, until next time, have a good one.